Hey there, it's Chris from Goodroads, and I am interested in 3D printing as a relatively inexpensive CNC level precision method of getting fast, easy prototype molds so that you can test out really precise skateboard shapes. My experiments with that so far have had some pretty good results and some failures, but I think the failures actually have more to do with my skills doing a layup than it does with the molds. That's something I've still got to find out. Recently I made a second attempt at pressing a deck using this mold right here, and then I used my DIY router station to shape and refine the edges. The blank that I cut is looking real promising, so let's go finish it up and see what we got. The domed router jig I showed off in the last video does a great job of rough rounding the edges of the deck, but they still need a little refinement. A soft sanding drum is the tool of choice for that, the highest end offerings being inflatable drums that allow you to control the stiffness of the drum itself. Those inflatable drums are also very, very expensive, so for now, this is the solution I'm working with. It's a spindle and a flexible foam drum from Treeline USA, and it works okay. The sanding sleeve tends to wander a bit, and I can still get faceted edges on my rails if I'm not being careful, but at 40 bucks, it's a tenth of the price of some of the other options out there. I'd like to continue exploring different options for this part of the process, but for now, this will work just fine. To smooth out the parts of the deck that I can't reach with the drum, I'm using an orbital sander with a 220 grit pad. To get the graphics started, I laid down a background wash of color using a blue writ dye and then sealed that layer with polyacrylic, which will prevent the rest of my art from bleeding into the wood grain. Then the channel hit 5,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone. To celebrate, I did a live stream of putting some art onto this deck. I had a great time hanging out with y'all, talking shop, and adding to my collection of orange-themed skateboards. Thank you all so much for the support and growth here on the channel, and cheers to the next 5,000. With the art done, all that was left was to coat the deck with some poly one more time and set it up. And this is the most DIY skateboard that I, and maybe anyone, has ever ridden. Not only is this a deck that I pressed myself, but I also cast this set of wheels, and I cast these barrel bushings that I'm using in the trucks. So it is really prototype test time. With the last version of this deck, I could start to feel the delamination issues after only a couple minutes of riding. This time around, I got in some ollie practice, Learned what Mike Osterman calls plop to rails. Hey, I got it. Right on. Put in some solid work trying to learn Caspers. And generally put the deck through a bunch of abuse and one of my cameras. I had to pause the progression at that point to change gears and come and make this video for you guys, but I'm really happy with how it's going, and I am really happy with this deck. It's solid as a rock, it's got what feels like just the right amount of flex, it's got pop, it's holding up better than the grip tape and better than my shoes, and generally it's just a really fun ride. So there it is, proof positive that a 3D printed mold can get you a really good skateboard. When I started this project, I chose a freestyle deck shape because of the low kick angles and the shallow concave. That meant that the heights of the molds weren't as tall as a standard skateboard deck would be, and as I went to 3D print them, I would be using less plastic and material, which means that if this whole experiment was a bust, I wouldn't have wasted much. But now that I know that it works, I can confidently scale up to other mold geometries, and the next project I'm gonna tackle is a much more standard street skateboard deck. And the molds for those are gonna be free and open source. So, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. The next video on the channel is gonna be a quick rundown on how to make a super cheap and easy skateboard press, because I need a new one. And then it's on to 3D printed open source skateboard molds. If you've got any questions or comments, or tips on how to freaking land Caspers, leave them down below.
Huge shout out, as always, to my supporters over on Patreon. I could not do this kind of experimentation without your help. If you'd like to chip in, it really does help and it is so very appreciated. There'll be a link down below. Thanks, as always, for coming through. I love having you along for the ride, so until next time, see you soon.